the second hour of Nightline. This is the time I like for you kids to get around and sing with me. I'm going to do a couple songs just for you tonight. Amen. Get ready now. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now I can't hear you. You're going to have to sing a little louder. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go. What fun it is to run and slay, singing song tonight. Now help me sing a little louder this time. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow. Horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits ride. What fun it is to run and sleigh, and sing it song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle. One of my very favorite songs at Christmas. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. Sing it with me, won't you?
just one more time. Silent night, holy night. Son of God, love's pure. Oh, Gwen, that's some beautiful singing there. I'll tell you, we're getting into that season, that time of year and everything. But can you believe the first hour's gone and we're in our last half hour uh, of the service tonight. And I want to mention just right up front as we come into this last half hour just remember the whole purpose of this season is Jesus. He came, he died, he went to an old rugged cross and he rose again for each of us that we may have everlasting life. What a gift, what a gift he has given to us. So just remember to give a little time back to him each and every day. And uh, he deserves even more than that. But uh, he's done so much for us. Gwen, I've been talking about anniversary, Gwen, and uh, all that uh, led up to well, well, we even showed some of our 25th anniversary Yeah. Uh, that we redid, our vows here at the station. Mm -hmm. And vows are very important. Yes, they are. You know, when you make a vow, it's a commitment. It's something that it really needs to be kept and uh, cherished and held on to. The Lord has made many commitments and vows to us. Uh, far beyond what we deserve, but he's graciously given us. Yes, he has. His self in many ways. Well, what have we been doing lately on our anniversary? Well, we've been cruising. <laughs> we got, got hooked on doing a little cruising. Mm -hmm. How many does this make us coming up? Uh, this one will be, I think, 17. And, uh, and it's 10 days, right? 10 days. And we're going to the far eastern Caribbean this time to uh, an island that you love is Barbados. Yes, it had, uh, yes. Had a, what caught our attention was a little church up on top. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was all mahogany on the Everything. outside. Mm -hmm. Or inside. Inside rather, too. Think. The inside it was all mahogany, outside was stone mm -hmm. and so forth. And uh, But when the island was first discovered and all, and I think uh, the country was British, I believe, they stripped the island of all the mahogany trees nearly. And it yeah. must have been some paradise to have seen. But that wood was still in that church. But that church. church was amazing. And beautiful. With it was. all that mahogany in there, I remember. I'll never forget. In fact, with this cruise coming up, I'm really excited to be able to go back to Barbados and see it again because it had been so many years. How many years would you say? Oh, this one probably goes back to 
uh, I would say 19, uh, around 1994. It was one of my favorite islands mm. that we yes. were ever at. The most beautiful views, the water, the color of the water right. off that mountain there. And it's how they say if you're on the island, mm -hmm. the eastern side is the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. The western side of the waters they call the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? And yeah, no, it, it's, it's something to see. So some of the other islands we're going to be going to, uh, we'll maybe be going first time? To, uh, Trinidad, Tobago. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll be going back to St. Martin. We've been there before. Yes. Uh, also, uh, oh, Antigua. Mm -hmm. We'll be going there. Mm -hmm. And then several days, too, at sea. But that gives us quite a few islands to be able to go to this time. Yes, it does. Yeah, yes, sure it does. does. You know, I think we've got a picture or two here and there of some of our cruises that we've been on right there. Is one of our latest ones. Um, that must have been last year because I have, my, have a mask. It was the Oasis, and uh, that's the ship we were on behind us there. Um, this is a celebrity ship that we were docked beside, and I think there's a good chance this is the one we'll be on uh, this week. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the celebrity. Yeah. And here we are. That's an old vintage car there, and that's on the inside of the ship. And uh, and you see there. what's on the other side over there, didn't you? Oh, the I little did. cafe that stays open 24 hours. Oh, you're hooked on that cafe. Oh, There's a little yeah. cafe that serves coffee and chocolate and pastries and chocolate. Uh, oh yeah, she's hooked on the chocolate. Yeah, I know when it's three o'clock. And it'll have little ham sandwiches or tuna or different things in their open Egg 24 salad. hours I mean, they a got day. A Good variety and yeah. pastries, all kind of pastries. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can go there and uh, get you a, a little bit of a snack and all. But that is a try. We now actually here, watched a parade from there last year. Do you remember that? We did. We watched the Christmas parade. There were some tables sitting there, and we sat there beside it. I love. Carousel. There's something that Gwen loves. Gwen love. loves the carousel horses, and they on this ship. They have a uh, nice carousel, and that's like one of the horses that goes on the carousel. And uh, got your picture beside it there. I love that. And that's good. Uh, that's a tree on the inside there of the uh, oasis that we were on. Uh, they they go out pretty well for decorating and and all. Uh, and Wade, wouldn't you encourage people to cruise? I mean, it's really a good way to travel. Well, it's a great way to spend a vacation, and uh, we have found it to be family oriented. Uh, uh, this cruise line, we go Royal Caribbean, and it is uh, family oriented. Very good cruise, very good talent shows. And, and John was young, and he all. loved them. <laughs> yes, and the picture that was just before this one. Uh, that was set up with the gingerbread houses they had. Competition. And competition, then they had a train that actually worked its way around and through the village there. And so it was really pretty. Uh, again, like I say, they go all out uh, when they do the uh, decorating for things. Uh, the next one that was coming up that's in our stateroom. Every day. And every day our uh, stateroom attendant would take washcloths and towels and make things. And this was a swan that he made out of a towels and washcloths. And he'll put them on the bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember one he made a raccoon mm -hmm. and put my sunglasses on mm -hmm. it. And... Uh, you, you know, it's little things like this you catch yourself looking for uh, in the, you know, expecting. You're out of your room, you come back and you you look for it, you expect to see it. You know what else I really like? Well, the balcony. That, oh, the balcony. And uh, I should have showed a picture off of that, but 
Oh, there's oh, our now. anniversary. From last this is year. when we had our anniversary meal on this ship. Uh, I think this was uh, in 21. Mm -hmm. And uh, we they had a chops grill on there. And we went there for our anniversary. And, and some of the meals they had were, oh, awesome. Uh, amazing. Uh, they would have lobster. They'd have steaks. They had... Uh, uh, chops, chicken, lamb, just different a variety of things to choose from. I know one of my favorite was called, uh, uh, it was a, uh, oh gosh, it just slipped my mind, but it was where they took a lobster mm -hmm. thermidor, mm -hmm. lobster thermidor, and it was so good and all. Uh, and here's uh, one to Hawaii when we were on. And I never thought I'd see you going around in a grass skirt, but there you be in uh, that one. Am I in trouble? Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is also uh, in one of the islands in Hawaii, and the flowers in that tree behind us there. Is that where the pineapple was? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Glenn that may Karen. have been on yeah. the Dole Plantation, yes. but it was... Uh, Dole was... Uh, we yeah. went on a little train around. And oh, it showed that uh, the train covered a pretty good size area showing how the... Uh, went through the... where they grew the pineapples and uh, the, the different citrus fruits they samples had. Samples, you got samples. Got to get samples and things, but uh, it's amazing the acreage and all that it covers. And another thing that amazed me is the taste, the flavor, you know, the pineapple. What we get here, of course, is shipped several days in advance to get here. But over there, when you get one that's fried off the uh, vine or bush, whatever there, it was really good. And they had a luau. I had a luau yeah. there, and this was some of the dancers, and it Down showed, the water. Right, it showed the different, Hawaii was made up of different Polynesian cultures. And uh, so each one showed a little bit about their culture. And of course, they cooked the pig and the leaves, uh, mm -hmm. like the banana leaves and so forth. And- uh, I enjoyed that too, did you? Right. Yes. This was, those are cogs that were there uh, from a plantation that's there, it's uh, coffee. That's right. And coffee they beans. actually were known for uh, doing a lot of uh, coffee uh, production and shipping uh, out of there. Uh, that was one that we really enjoyed seeing there uh, and all. So those are some of our cruise pictures. One day can we go back to Hawaii? Uh, you're worrying me to death to go back. I so. would love to go back to Hawaii sometime. I know. Yes, it's beautiful. I know. This time I think I'd fly over, do the cruise around through the islands there instead of spending time crossing the uh, ocean. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd give us more time on the um uh, Absolutely. Islands. And there was a little restaurant we went in. Remember that? How what the food was so good in Hawaii. That little. It was just a small little place, but it we, had the best food. We went. Uh, well, I looked it up online. A good place to get us a bite to eat, and it gave me these directions. And I went there. I I drove right past it. I thought this, this couldn't be. But it was. It. It looked like an old stucco, uh, like maybe mm -hmm. a service station. Mm -hmm. uh, the outside was rustic. Uh, uh, it just rough looking, very rough. And there wasn't hardly anybody there. And I thought, well, reckon we should go or not. Of course, we were hungry. So we went on the inside. You walked up to a counter and ordered, and then they would bring it to a table. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it was, there was only about eight tables in that whole little tiny building. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, 
you know, here they talked about all these people that raided this little restaurant and everything. High number. Well, when after we ordered and turned around to see if we could find the, one of the little tables, which was easy, there wasn't hardly anybody in there, there was a picture on the wall of this uh, cooking show personality, Guy Ferrari. Oh, yeah. He'd been and there. He had been there, and I thought, well, okay, we'll see. And next thing I knew. That was some of the best food. Oh, the food was delicious. And the people were lined up out the door, up the street. And, you know, we finally ate and got out, and they were still lined up a block up the street. But the thing was, more than the sit-down part, people were coming in in Taking droves. Out. Take out. Take out orders. They were doing take out orders. Yeah. <laughs> and it was delicious. It was very good to be in just such a small little place. That's right. But you know, let's go back to uh, what we were talking about uh, earlier. Uh, it's not so much where we are as when we're there. It's us making quality time with each other. Yeah. And I was thinking, when you said that immediately, I thought about that little lady on that very last day when we were at the, going up that road and wait, her hair was soaking wet. It was the I went up to her and she started crying. And I'd already told her I would buy what she had from her, you know. That. It was the little pineapple stand. And uh, she said, can I, can I hug you? I said, you can. And she was all wet and it didn't matter. I just held her. She just cried and cried and cried. And she said, you know, she said, I believe the Lord sent you to me today because she said, I really, I really needed this. She said, I was just really going through something. And you took the time for me today. I, I can't even tell you what it well, what it did for her was one thing. What it did for me was something, else. was something else. That shows you just how God is and being an on-time God. Um, here you are almost, we were ha almost halfway around the world. You had never seen her before in your mm -hmm. life. She had never seen you. But yet the moment you walked over there, there was something that connected, and mm -hmm. that was the Holy Spirit. That trip, if for no other reason, was for her. I believe that with all my heart. I yes. just believe it. We we shared our heart with you tonight and shared our stories, our memories. We, 30, 32 years. But you know what? God can do something special for you tonight. And I think, don't you think a, a good way to go out is just with some good music? And so we want to close out tonight with High Top Mountain Harmony. We just love this group. And they're going to do a song now. As we close out, there's a record book. We love you. <laughs> Thank you.